today's project diary, I will teach you how to make six great gardening tools from recycled milk bottles. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. Now you may know that I do this channel at my granddad's garden after caring for him for the past couple of years. Um, so basically like every other old person in England, they love their tea. So I keep getting so many milk bottles left over. Uh, so today's video is going to be my top six things on what to do, how to reuse and how to recycle these bottles. And here's some ideas for you to reuse them. First up, get yourself a marker pen. This is going to help you draw some lines for cutting later. So you can see a thicker bit of plastic at the top and bottom of this bottle. It sticks out so it's really easy to use as a guideline to get a straight line. So just draw the line straight across the top and then you want to go diagonally down from the top all the way down to the bottom using the extra thick piece at the bottom as more support. Once you've done that line draw straight across the bottom the same as you did with the top. Once you finish that you just need to turn the bottle around and draw another line from top to bottom at a 45 degree angle as well. Now the great thing about using plastic milk bottles is they're made from high density polyethylene. This is one of the safer plastics to use and is great for the garden as it has a really low rate of leaching any chemicals into the soil. I am working on a couple of videos about plastic safety but in the meantime please don't use polystyrene. This is a really dangerous plastic to use in the garden. Mainly because it will release styrenes into the soil and it's really unhealthy for human consumption. Now as you saw I used a knife to get into the bottle and I'm just going to use scissors to cut around the edge to make it a lot easier. Now this is going to be a really handy soil scoop but stick around until the end of the video where I'll show you exactly what all these tools are for and how to use them. So using a pen again we're going to use this part as a handle and just draw a line where you can see the ridge at this part here. This is going to go all the way down to the bottom where you saw the support line last time. Then using the ridge, draw a straight line across the bottom and then you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Just roughly marking out where this support part here is. Uh, bring it round to the front and then join it up with the bottom section. Once you finish that part, just try and join up the lines underneath. It might be a little bit tricky but just bear with it. Now it's at this point of me making this video I realised how much of a big influence Tony Hart had on me as a kid. And back in the 80s I never missed an episode of Heartbeat or other programmes. Like Blue Peter and Art Attack really used to capture my imagination and inspire me to make things so I really hope my videos can do the same for you. So I've used the knife again to get into the bottle and I'm just going to use the scissors to cut around the guidelines. Now cutting around the top bit can be really tricky so be really careful in not to cut yourself. So there you go, you've made yourself a handy new little trowel. Now you can use the little off cut piece as a scoop or even a dust pan, but here's two more other ideas that you can do with this piece. Now this one is so quick and simple, you just draw yourself a straight line across the ridge and cut it out and you've got yourself a seed tray. Now if you're worried about overwatering your seedlings you will need to make some holes in this but stick around until the end of the video and I'll show you how to use them all. Now here's something I use all the time in the garden, still using the leftover pieces from the last bottle, just cut off the end triangular pieces, after that by eye roughly cut out 2cm strips. Once they're done you've got yourself some great new labels to mark up your seedlings. Next up is the simplest one of all and you've probably seen me use it in nearly all of my videos. Yes I'm finally doing a tutorial on it and I know it saves a lot of you some cash already. It's my improvised watering bottle. Just get yourself a bradle or a nail and just pierce the top with a hole. Now the good thing about this is if you collect a lot of caps you can make different holes for different sized plants. One hole is really good for delicate seedlings and obviously the more holes you use the quicker the water flow and the better it will be for watering bigger plants across your garden. Just a quick safety tip, please don't burn or melt holes into the plastic. The last thing you need to do is just screw the lid back on. The last one, just using the leftover bottle as you did with the trowel. Try and mark up a straight line from top to bottom all the way around the bottle. It doesn't really matter if you make any mistakes but then all you need to do is just cut around the edge. Once you've finished you've got yourself a great little planter. Now you will need to put drainage holes in this if you are worried about watering. But here's some full examples and a full breakdown of why I think all of these ideas are helpful in your garden. Now I'm just going to use a tray and a normal trowel to show you exactly how much soil it would usually hold. As you can see it's not bad if you're planting up a small pot. 
but when you compare it to the soil scoop I made earlier, it holds almost three times as much compost, which makes it a lot easier when planting up larger containers. Seeing as I've got some soil here, I'm just going to use the homemade trowel, fill up the seed tray, just level it off and it's ready for some seeds. Now if you've got a keen eye, you may be able to see some of the other seedlings I'm growing around, which is butternut squash, courgettes, cucumbers and borage. So don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see these videos in the future. The other good little trick with this trowel is you may have seen me place a lot of seeds on this in my other videos. That's because if I don't use all the seeds, it's really easy to funnel them back into the packet and not to waste any. Now I can never seem to make enough plant labels but the good thing about these is the pen does fade after a year and you can reuse them time after time. Using the compost scoop or the trail again to fill up this little planter. The good thing about this planter is because it's long and narrow it can easily be placed on a really small windowsill and can be used to transplant smaller seedlings just in case it's too cold outside. I hope these ideas will help to save you loads of money and this video will inspire you to try these at home. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please leave me a comment below. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases don't forget to subscribe now. Here are some links to some of my great new playlists. And if you've tried these or any other project, I'd love to see your progress, so please post some photos on my Facebook gardening group. All the links are in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.